What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here back on the channel with a quick update video on an earthquake striking out around the Greece area, around Crete. A 6.0 earthquake coming into the region just now, just actually a few minutes ago here, uh, listed up there on the globe. As you can see, it's in an area that has definitely seen some activity here over the past uh, 24 hours and more so over the past couple days here. Pretty good cluster of earthquakes within this region. There's that 6.0. Let's go ahead and check out a couple different maps. By the way, uh, USGS does not have that earthquake listed up here yet. Uh, still kind of waiting on them. So this is all data from the EMSC. There is the 6.0 coming in to the uh, Crete, Greece area. It looks like this struck um, about 92 kilometers deep approximately seven minutes ago, just outside of Crete, Greece, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake. Uh, the source parameters, by the way, have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist about 12 minutes ago. There we go. Um, so we're still kind of waiting on an official word on this earthquake. Um, maps. Let's go over here to the USGS map. Kind of want to show you guys what sits out there. Uh, a lot of earthquakes <laughs> over time. Uh, six pointers are very common within the, this area of the Sea of Crete. Um, large earthquakes as well. Get some sevens out here within the region. Looks like the last seven pointer. Uh, around the Sea of Crete area was back in 19, uh, well, this is a, a larger magnitude, 7.7, 7, back in 1956. Uh, but the recent, most recent uh, seven pointer back here, let me see if I can find it because we got quite a few sixes in the mix here. That's going to be over in Turkey. Uh, let's see what we got. Maybe a 7.7 7 back in 1956, as I mentioned. Um, so they do get some, uh, they definitely do get some earthquakes out here on the larger size. So a six pointer is, uh, pretty minimal. Uh, looking at the, let's go over here to the USGS map. Nothing yet from them. I do want to go back the last seven days, um, and check out the earthquakes here within the region. Let's go back the last 30 days. Of course, we had quite a bit of activity way north of this region off the coast of Italy. Uh, also had a 5.1 into R Romania. Uh, that was earlier this month. So kind of a pretty big push of movement across this area uh, in recent terms over the past 30 days. Uh, in this specific area where the six-pointer struck, it's going to be probably right about here once the USGS gets to it. Uh, we did see a 4.8, looks like uh, about a week or so ago, just south here along the plate boundary. Um, so this area, definitely a highly prone region for some uh, some earthquake activity. And uh, there's quite a bit there. Lots and lots. So I'm kind of curious to see what the USGS is going to state here on this earthquake. Uh, but for now, we'll go with the 6.0 that is being reported here by the EMSC model. And whether it gets upgraded or downgraded will be, uh, I guess, will be determined, right? We'll see how it plays out. Um, a look at the seismographs here. Uh, definitely don't think it's any bigger than a six pointer. A lot of times these, um, oh, about 6.5 and above will show a signature across the, uh, any stations, uh, around the globe for as that, uh, initial P wave, but, uh, I don't see anything unusual striking out here on any of the graphs right now. So, uh, more than likely this is going to remain about a six pointer or possibly downgraded, uh, but we'll keep an eye on it for sure and see what the USGS reports. Um, all right, so we'll be back a little bit later on this evening here with a complete update video. Uh, and of course, if anything massive changes here, we'll definitely take note and uh, report back live here on the channel. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe while you're here and like, thumbs up the video as well. Kind of helps out with the, uh, the YouTube algorithms there. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you a little bit later on this evening. Take care. 